Hi, I'm Amanda. Welcome to Real Flicks and Popcorn Picks. Uh, actually, I don't know where my co-host is. Where is Dan? The movie's about to start. I can't stop. What? Wait, you forgot your popcorn! So Queen Pins is loosely, and I stress the loosely, based on a true story. It's about a bored housewife who her and her best friend team up and create this coupon clipping scheme. They end up scamming big box brands out of millions of dollars. Right, we're, we're new guys. Um, we actually don't have a sponsor today. Oh, so maybe- but We will. Yes, and maybe if you guys know of somebody, you know, send them our way. Everybody, I am so excited about this movie. I have been staying tight-lipped because I didn't wanna ruin anything and keep the suspense going but I absolutely love this movie. Now, it did get mixed reviews from, you know, reviewers and critics, but it was one of those movies that I wish didn't end because the characters were so incredible. Very relatable because it brings you back to, you know, especially myself when I was living on my own, mm -hmm. like coupon cutting was mandatory, especially Sundays. The Sunday paper, you got the mega coupons that came in. And you know, when you're living paycheck to paycheck, living on your own, you're always like scheming in your head of how you're gonna make it and like what what can you do to save all this money, mm -hmm. which brings you you know closer to these characters. Love the way that Kristen Bell played you know the main character. She got into that character. The bored housewife. Yeah, right, the bored housewife who was wasn't she like an Olympian? She was a retired yeah. Olympian. Yeah. And she, uh, power walker, right? So she's right. power walking around right. the whole neighborhood. Um, this movie was just so hysterical and heartwarming. Vince Vaughn mm -hmm. and his co-star, Paul. Paul, he's, we're friends, you know, we're on a right. first name yeah, basis. Yeah, Paul <laughs> Walter Hauser. <laughs> right, the two of them in the car, staking out the girls. The stakeout was hysterical. Paul's character wanted to just uh, relieve himself in his <laughs> pants if, you know, catch my drift. And Vince was just being his typical Vince Vaughn self when he was like, don't, don't do that. You're, you're a grown man. You, you don't do that. I literally have never laughed out loud. Honestly, as many movies as I've seen, I've never laughed out loud. And I laughed so hard that I scared my dog. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I love Vince Vaughn for his quirkiness. Yeah. He just has this way of delivering lines that just makes everything so much funnier. Mm -hmm. And like on that note, I feel like Vince Vaughn did not get enough camera time though. So I have two complaints about the movie. Okay. One, there was a scene with, with Vince Vaughn and Ken standing outside of the supermarket, and it looked like there was a green screen. It didn't look real. Complaint number two is that Vince Vaughn did not get enough screen time. But yeah, they definitely could have expanded on both of them, because mm -hmm. I mean, him and Paul were hysterical. With this movie, like, there were so many fun things that were happening. Even the characters Alejandro and Rosa, mm -hmm. the two that were get, getting them the illegal coupon, right. like, right, right, they right, were right. kind of cute. Yeah, yep, exactly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The little mini couple off to the side. You know, I was also surprised that there was only a limited theatrical release of this movie. It only made, like, I think I actually have, like, in my notes, it, I think it only made 1.2 million in the box office, but the money for this film came when it was sold to streaming. It made over $20 million once it was sold to streaming. That's a lot of stuff does. <laughs> That's a lot of couponing. Yeah. <laughs> so of course, because of this story, I needed to know the fact that they said it was based on a true story. And I did, you know, in our intro, say that it was loosely based on a true story and found out that- um, like Three girls, right? Three women. Uh, their names were Robin Ramirez, and she was the ringleader. Mm -hmm. And then the two under her were Marilyn Johnson and Amico Amy Fountain. The details were revealed after Tuesday morning raid in July of 2012 by Phoenix police department. So it was actually Phoenix. And only one of them went to jail though, right? Right. So it was only the ringleader Robin that went to jail. She served 24 months in prison and sev had seven years probation. And in the movie, they didn't have to pay them back like the actual um, companies. But in real life, they had to pay more than $1.2 million to Procter & Gamble. Wow. So this movie sold to streaming almost made more than <laughs> they were making yeah. the couponing. That's wild. Irony. Right? They found also found 22 assault weapons. So the thing with the guns was probably real. And the, the, the airplane hangar, right? Yes. And it actually was an airplane hangar. Right. I think. Right? Right. Like, yeah, don't yeah, don't yeah. quote me on that, guys, but I'm pretty sure yeah. it was an airplane hangar. And they did have the guns as well. <laughs> yeah, the guns. Right. Uh, and then there were 21 vehicles, including a 40-foot boat. Yeah. I mean, these women were living the life. <laughs> there were also four homes between them. Wow. 
So, I mean, they they really took couponing to a whole nother level. Right. right. So, ultimately, I mean, I feel like this was an adorable film with really great laugh out loud moments. I was sucked in and, again, really wish that it did not end. No, well, just from a guy's perspective, I wasn't getting into it as much as I probably would have liked to. Mm -hmm. Like, I definitely related with all the coupon cutting and, you know, the, the story was interesting with the, well, I don't want to say FBI writing them because it was more of the, the Postal Service <laughs> going after them. But, uh, yeah, I guess I, aside from growing up, living on my own, doing all the coupon cutting after that, uh. I would definitely say Vince Vaughn. Okay. I just, he's too quirky. I love just the way he delivers all his lines. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just maybe I'm favoring Vince because I think he's such a great actor. But for, for me, he stood out, I think, the most for me. Well, Kristen Bell. Okay. I mean, love her. Right. I feel like she was so dedicated to that character. I mean, in her, her chemistry, you know, with the actress that played JoJo, love them together. Right. I mean... Oh, I yeah, they, they were they were definitely written really well for the screenplay. I think. Yeah, and they were so committed to their character. Oh, I mean, I just it was just so much fun. What a light, fun, playful movie. This was a movie that afterwards I was smiling for days. Nice. Favorite scene had to be the stakeout when they're talking about you know the Paul's character is gonna poop his pants so to speak <laughs> and just just the quirkiness the banter that these two had during that stakeout I mean they're having so much fun at the same time I don't want to say the same scene but it's the same no scene it's because funniest scene it's in so the movie funny. but I did also love the scene where Jojo's celebrating that she sold the guns in, in her like sequin outfit and she's she dancing does the in dance. the driveway yeah <laughs> and they're watching her and they're watching the show yeah it's so funny. I'm going to go with streaming it because okay. it's not something I think I would own. Oh, I'm buying that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding it to my collection. Uh, anytime I need a good laugh, a lighthearted movie. Like, you ever have a bad day and then you come home and you're like, I just want to decompress. I just want to unwind, unplug, not think too much. Throw on a good comedy. Yeah, throw on a good comedy and just have a good laugh. Right. And then laugh until you cry. Right. <laughs> as, as you did with this film. <laughs> For sure. I wonder if I, when I watch it again, if I'm going to have the same reaction, though. It could become your comfort movie. We all have our comfort movies. Yeah, for sure. Thank you all so much for joining us. Until next time, happy streaming.